What's up guys, I'm Spencer. And I'm Christy. And this is our show, Destination Delicious. We are a full-time traveling family and we go all across the USA looking for wonderful destinations and cooking amazing food. We bring our 22-inch Blackstone with us wherever we go and we are in Surfside Beach, which is on the Gulf Coast in Texas. And today we've got a cool one for you guys. We're going to show you just how versatile the Blackstone really is. Everybody knows you can cook meat and fries and pancakes on it. But did you know you can cook chocolate checks and peanut butter bars? We're gonna show you how. So let's go fire it up. To make things a little bit more interesting today, we found the windiest spot we absolutely <laughs> could on this little inlet off of the Christmas Bay, which is just across from the Gulf of Mexico. We've been just enjoying working at the beach, playing at the beach. It's just been really, really nice. And no matter what we're doing, we always love to have tasty treats with us. So today we are mixing it up and we're gonna use chocolate checks, marshmallows, of course, butter, peanut butter, some M&Ms, and just mix it all together. And it's Amazing. Fantastic. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take a half stick of butter. We need to melt this down, so I'm gonna use one of Blackstone's grease catcher cups. We've got the Blackstone set to high. Normally it would be like medium, medium high, but we've got a little wind, so we have to crank up the heat just a little bit to keep, keep the griddle hot. All right, now that our butter is melted, we need to get some butter on the griddle so we can get the cereal down. All right, you can use a measuring cup if you like, but we're just gonna go straight from the bag to the griddle of roughly about five to seven cups. I'm gonna do a nice coating of marshmallows. This is roughly about five cups of marshmallows on top. We are a Jif family over yeah, here. If you're, if you're not using Jif, what are you doing with your life? We're gonna get in here probably about a cup, cup and a half of peanut butter. We love peanut butter and the more peanut butter, the better. Another lump for the other side. Yep, I'm gonna get it. All right, now we're gonna pour the butter on top. Get that all drizzled in. Now it's time to go to town with the spatula. Gonna get that peanut butter good and mixed in. Marshmallows starting to get gooey. Gooey goodness. Smells so good. We have two uh, small like square tins. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of Pam. I think we're right. ready to scoop these on. All right. Want to leave no shred of peanut butter behind. I'm just gonna shape these up a little bit. And then I'm gonna top with some M&Ms. All right, this is where I would normally cut these up into squares and then put them in like a saran wrap or a Ziploc baggie because we like to keep them in our packs um, while we're, you know, adventuring. They're or... great hiking snacks. <laughs> yeah. Um, that peanut butter adds protein, so they're sort of healthy too. It's an energy bar. <laughs> um, but we're just gonna dive right in and try some of this amazing goodness. Yes. Look how gooey this is. I taste everything, the marshmallow, the peanut butter, yeah. the checks. And it's crunchy and gooey all at the same time. Mm -hmm. It is fantastic. This is just such an awesome snack, super quick and easy to make, and the Blackstone griddle just like yeah made it so fun. Make the cleanup a lot easier. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and if you got a lot of kids running around, it's a it's a crowd pleaser for sure. So you should definitely try this one out because it's very very tasty, and it's fun to make something that's a little sticky and gooey on the Blackstone. Check out BlackstoneProducts.com. Check out the rest of the shows on the YouTube channel with Nate and CJ and Bruce and Betty and Todd. And until next time, guys, this is Destination Delicious and we will see you down the road.